Welcome to this video series that covers the use of Trimble Connect AR. This video demonstrates how to use Connect AR mini apps to document on site issues as to dos, identify point coordinate information, measuring a line, percentage of grade, and total area. Long tap or swipe up the mini app button to get started. To begin, we will create a to do. Tap the to do button. The first step to creating the to do is to capture a screen image from your device. Aim the camera to the area and tap the To Do button to capture your screen. The image is located here. You can delete and add additional images. Now fill out the name and the description fields. Set the priority to low, normal, high, or critical. Next, set the type from the list. Choose a date from the calendar to set the due date. To assign this to do to other team members, tap the plus. Search by name or choose from the list. Tap Save to finish. If the device is online, it will be saved to Trimble Connect. If using the device offline, the sync button will appear and can be synced by the user to Trimble Connect when back online. Next, we are going to measure a point. We have two separate modes. We have a blue AR mode that is for measurements to the AR digital model content only. We also have an orange EDM mode. This mode is for measuring the real world. Devices without LiDAR capability will be able to take EDM measurements. However, this is potentially quite inaccurate. If you do have a LiDAR enabled device, EDM measurements will return accurate distance measurements out to 5 meters or 15 feet. We will begin in EDM mode. To measure a point and identify the coordinate information, aim visually to the location and tap the crosshair to measure the point. Point information includes name, code, and the X, Y, and Z coordinate location of the point. The name and code fields can be edited in this window. To measure another point, tap the crosshair. To delete a point, tap the trash can. To delete any additional point, tap the point and tap the trash can. Press and hold here to select area. In this example, let's take a look at the area of this duct box. This time, we are measuring in AR mode from the model. Notice how you can view the model and the physical environment. To begin the tool, tap the first point on the model. The second point will begin to display the total length from point to point. Continue to include points in the model to calculate the area. If you pick the wrong point, you can double tap on a point to delete. In this example, after continuing and closing the area, the total length and our surface area is displayed. To rename the area, tap the check mark and type in the new name. Area measurements are saved to the layers list. Tap the layers button. Tap the area, lines, or points to hide or unhide any measurement. Measurements are also available in the EDM mode. When measuring in EDM, the crosshair will be displayed as white, which indicates that a measurement is available, or red, which indicates that no measurement is available. Aim and tap the crosshair at the first measurement point. You will notice in this example that the points are currently not visible. The model is hiding the points. With the last point selected, the total length, length of last segment, and the total surface area will be displayed. To identify any layer of the model, tap the model to display the attributes of the layer. To hide the selected layer, tap the Hide button. Now the area measured in EDM mode is visible. To measure the distance and percentage of grade in the EDM mode, we will measure to verify the length and the width of floor tiles. Each floor tile is manufactured to measure 3 foot in length 
by 9 inches wide. Let's measure the length. Pick the first point and then the second point. This will reveal grade percentage and calculated distance. The horizontal distance and vertical distance will also be displayed. To measure the distance and percentage of grade using model components, switch to AR mode. Measure a point on the first component. Next, pick a point on the second component. This will reveal grade percentage and calculated distance. The horizontal distance and vertical distance will also be displayed. To delete a measurement, tap the trash can. The sync button can be used to sync model measurements. Once any measurement has been taken, the sync button will appear. Future measurements will be appended to this file. Tapping the sync button while online will create a .csv file in the same folder on Connect as the model containing the measurements. The next and last video in the series will demonstrate the workflow of adding a PDF in Connect AR.